Hey, today I'm gonna show you guys my uh, uh, easy, quick little mouse trap. I got I found this design on the University of YouTube, so I decided to try it out here on my barn. Stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. I'm up here in my barn today and I'm actually coming to check out the mouse trap. This trap I built, it's really easy. I took a five gallon bucket, drilled a couple of holes in it, cut off a piece of wire hanger and then I tapped two holes in each end of this big can, smeared it with a little bit of peanut butter, threaded that wire through the can and then I fixed it through the little holes in the bucket, filled the bucket about half full of water and then I put this little ramp up on this so the rodent can easily get up there sniff out the peanut butter and uh, yeah lick the peanut butter and roll off into the water hmm mm -mm. this thing has been up here for a solid week I've placed my trail cams strategically placed my trail cams around the barn and this is where I suspect the little rodent is coming in was under the barn door here, come through under the stall gate and out into the general area. You can see the evidence of it being here because it left a present. Yes, this ain't a Cocoa Puff. Anyway, we got <laughs> evidence of this little mouse just having the time of his life on the trail camps. Now this creature is a little bit smarter than I give him credit for. So I... I don't see how this trap is working. I'm just going to go ahead and leave the trap up here, but I'm going to collect the trail cams and go put them out someplace else.
Anyway, I gotta feed my livestock and I'll put this video together for you guys to see. A little bit disappointing on the mouse trap, but I think that's a good thing because from the videos I've seen, there was just only one little mouse that has been uh, running around the barn and it's not a whole bunch of uh, rats and mice. Uh, they There was a larger population here at one time and they did a lot of damage. I really had to clean up this. Uh, sh this little uh, medicine cabinet and throw a lot of stuff away because they did damage a lot of stuff. Uh, so hopefully I've eliminated them from getting into this metal cabinet is less, uh, especially the area of the uh, uh, the medicine and also I keep my feed stored in these metal cans so if they get out here there's not much for them to get into because there's no feed that they can get into access because the, like I said these cans are metal. So that's it on the mouse trap. So far it's a fail. Uh, but we'll see. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for joining me on this little bit of a, a journey on discovering different styles of rodent traps we can manufacture out of stuff just laying around the farm. I know it's, uh, other videos people are showing quite the success maybe they have dumber rats than I do anyway stay tuned to more videos you can do that by subscribing clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them also uh, you can click that share button sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out the channel a lot another thing you can do is please give me a thumbs up if you do anything just give me a thumbs up and if you want, leave a comment. I like reading your comments. Uh, after all, I'm staying home for 14 days and I've got nothing to do. And maybe I can get some hints and tips from you guys. So please engage. Keep in touch. We'll see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.